you know, I always equate it to if someone has a, a drug or alcohol problem and they go to a rehab, they go away for a while um, and they clean themselves up and they become sober. When they come home, they, they, they're also adept at living a different lifestyle and they actually have choices that they can make to live that lifestyle. Maybe they take a different route home so they don't have to drive by their favorite bars. Maybe they change who their friends are. As adults, we seem to have those choices and the ability to make those choices. With these young men, they're in an environment that has caused them to make poor choices. So when they get all of this wonderful nurturing and social skill and life skill training in jail, ironically, um, when, they, when they leave, they go back to the same neighborhood with the same parents, with the same friends, with the same school, with the same community, with the same street, with the same gangs, and the list goes on and on and on. And to sit there and tell them at 16 years old, okay, well, you know, good luck, is ridiculous because they don't have those choices. My name is Leonardo Alvarez. I'm 18. I'm at U Village with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. It's been a year on November the 10th since I've been there. Well, I know that Chad has been a pretty big help. Yeah, too. that's the person I talk to. Yeah. Chad, somebody that I would give, I would ask for advice, and then somebody I really, really trust, and somebody I would go with their advice. You no, know, I don't really trust. Like I don't. I'm not even close with my parents, none of them, but I'll talk to them instead of my parents. So, you know, that means a lot. If it wasn't for him, you know, I'd probably still, like I said, I'd probably be in jail or dead. You look like a completely different person out there. I mean, mm -hmm. you stand up straight and you look like you belong in a restaurant. It's a job, you know, you have to do the job. That's how I feel. Like, I mean, I just ain't gonna come here. If you're gonna, if you have a job, you don't just go there and just sit around or not do nothing, I mean. Did you always feel that way? I didn't, back then I didn't think, I don't need a job. I was so dope. Was it hard to turn away from that? Because you can make a lot of money pretty quick. Oh yeah, real hard. I did go back for, as, as when I first got out, I was struggling, like, you know. But I stopped that right away. So, okay. uh, Caught Chad. I caught Chad. Really? What'd you say? I needed a job. Where do you want to be a year from now? Who, who do you want to be? Who do you want to? I want to be with my baby. I'm with my baby. So being a good father is important to you? Yeah. I'm okay. You can tell me. Nah, I, my dad ain't been around, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be like that with my baby. He just got me thinking, that's why. I just want to do the opposite that they did. I mean, you know, mom, you know, they tried, but, you know, daddy, you know, he wasn't. No, he moved on with his life. You know, you know I don't want to be. I don't want. You know, I you know I know how that feels. You know, I don't want to put somebody through that. I'm young, I'm trying to move on with life, settle down, just keep keep living life the right way. Like I said, I, I want to be able to get here already. And that's how I. That's I'm gonna be my everything. I think the first thing you do is you just give them love. And I know that sounds really simple and, and maybe even a bit cliche, but um, that's what they're really most hungry for. The reality is some of these guys just, it's not gonna click. They don't wanna make the right choices. And I, I feel like so far I've, in my own mind, kind of rationalize it, that's okay. A very wonderful friend of mine said recently, you know what you need to do? You need to go save one young man, and then save another, and then save 10, and then save another 10. 
And I think that that's um, a really good philosophy because that the philosophy is don't try to save them all. Really focus on saving the ones that want to be saved. Learn from it and continue to build from there. I live in Arlington. I moved in with um with my girlfriend. You know, she lives with her parents. You know, but I live there. I'm comfortable there. You know, I like it. Matter of fact, her dad was like. You know, he even helps me out to get to work and stuff. And I thought about it like, man, like, not even my parents will do stuff like this. Somebody else's parents doing it. Like, and he just told me, you know, I just want you to get on your two feet. Well, one of the last things that uh, happened when we were talking is we found out that your girlfriend was pregnant. Well, last doctor's appointment, um, they told her that she didn't have no fluid. Basically, that doctor's telling her just terminate the pregnancy. There's no chance of the baby, you know, making it and stuff. Ever since that appointment, you know, we had to talk about it and like, you know, we'll continue on with your pregnancy. Unless they tell you the baby's suffering or something, you're going to terminate it. But I mean, I mean, she's kicking. I mean, all last night I felt her and um, she kept, my girlfriend kept waking up because, you know, she'd be kicking hard. Like, you even see her little, her little stomach goes up and stuff when she'd be moving. So we're like, so how come she ain't, because they say without that fluid, the baby ain't supposed to be moving like that. But I mean, the baby's just moving everywhere. So we just, I guess, hope, hoping for the best. I mean, you have this gut feeling that, you know, she's gonna be here and everything's gonna be good. Now you've been out for over a year. Have you gotten in trouble at all with anything over the yeah. last year? Well, basically, um, I was riding, we had gone out, we had gone out one night. Who's we? Well, me and some friends. And we had gone out, we get pulled over. And um, they start, they just took us out, put us on handcuffs, searched the truck. They said there was stolen property. They reported a stolen a burglary. And um, they said probably they would look suspicious. So they searched the truck and they found a, a, a earring, a boy earring, you know? They said it was stolen. So they took us in for that. I got bonded out the next day and um, waiting for court. I got court coming up, but I'm fighting it. I mean, I know I didn't do it, so I'm fighting it to the fullest. Are you nervous? No way. You know, it's not, like I said, you know, before I didn't really care. You know, I say, you know, like I said, all the jail time, you know, there's nothing to me. But now, like, yeah, I mean, say so I go to jail or something, I'm going to miss out on my little girl. You know, I'm going to be able to be with my girlfriend throughout her pregnancy. Yeah, I'm going to worry about being out, but not for me, but for my girlfriend and stuff like that. You know, jail time, I got kind of used to doing that. So, you know, I could do it again, but I don't want that. I'm just tired of my life. I want to change that up. I mean, I know me still living the same way is going to get me nowhere. I mean, I ain't going to say I'm a fully new person because I really ain't a new, new person like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm working on it, working progress. <laughs>